The Darkness Comes! The Darkness Comes! What's going away? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Turtle Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Blind. Wait, what am I starting here for? Weird. Okay, so in the last episode, we made it to the piano, and I was like, I don't know what the heck to do here. So, off screen! Wait, is there. Zomble? Where? Oh, there it is. Get out of here as long as I have my sword, I'm happy. Okay, is, is there more? Is there more, you whore? I see you walking behind me. Uh, I, I was gonna totally call you a bad word. That starts with a C. Um, excuse my language that I don't even know what that sun anger was. <laughs> okay, um, off screen? I looked up what the piano code was. I don't know what it was, and yes, yeah, I should play the piano. And I, I, I mean, it's A B Y X B Y A. I don't know how I was supposed to remember that. And there was no like indication of what it would be. Even the guide I just read said something like, "If you don't remember the code, because it's nowhere around, minus like you know the torn paper." Um, it's like here it is. What's this? These look like little pamphlets. Oh no, it's a book. They're bookcases. Okay. So I mean, I I could do that for trial and error for 20 minutes until I figure out what it is, but it's not worth it. The tabernacle is almost empty, empty of all the things that should be there, such as holy water or other ritualistic items. There is only a door handle laying on the lower shelf. Should uh, Peter pick up the door handle? Yes, I should. Okay, uh, I believe the, the door without a handle was over this way. It was over yonder, right? Uh huh. So even just look at this guide. Like I didn't read anything, obviously, but um, it's the entire game guide in one page, and it looks like we're about like three fourths done this game. I mean, yeah, it's cool, right, guys? This is the door without a handle, right? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, I almost feel like this is near the end. Excuse me. <clears throat> Considering, like, this is a dead end room, isn't it? Ammunition! Ammunition! What else do we have in here? Peter Jacobs. That look, he looks like somebody, like. I was gonna say Nickelback, but not Nick. Look, look at, look at, look at his hair. He totally looks like someone, like a rock star or something that I can't remember the name of. If there's just ammo in here, I swear. Oh, this was not there before. I don't think it was anyway. I thought I remember. Oh, okay, it's like, Pokemon is ready to go. Ah, there's bad guys! Ah, there's bad guys! Ah, uh, there's bad guys! Ah, uh, there's bad guys! I should probably start, um, uh, putting a chance back on my stuff. Alright, seriously, get out, all of you! Huh, what? There's a bone weaver inside this tho that zombie, that's weird. Alright, come on, break free. Okay, I, I mean... <laughs> If, if these guys are formidable, I'd be kind of scared about a three versus one, but these are just zombies and bone weavers, neither of which I care about. I should totally- you know what? Hold on a second here. Pull out my rifle. Great, and now you're all dead. Congratulations. Bam! 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 Oh no, some bone weavers are gonna totally jump at me. Yay, I did it, and I'm no, never gonna have enough time to, um, re- arm myself, so I'm just gonna kill them all, rest of all, I'm gonna kill the rest of them with my sword. You must die! Right. Screw you. Oh, there's still one alive. Yay, everyone's dying. Yay. Dude, see, so there's another bone weaver in there? Okay, maybe these are a bit more formidable than I thought, considering, um, Took down most of my health. Okay, just because I don't want you guys to watch all this crap, I'm gonna enchant my stuff and heal up, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all healed up. I put on a shield. One thing I haven't done is enchant my weapon. I'm just gonna wait till I um come across who's leading down to the Forbidden City. I'm gonna wait till I come across some bad guys just so I can see exactly what I want to enchant my sword with. It's been mostly the green guy so far, so if that's indi any indicate, Why are these rats just frozen? Are they just dead? I don't know, they're not. I, I was gonna say, I feel like they're stuck on the stairs or something. Like, they're glitched out. Oh, good lord, where are you? You're green, okay. Red beats green, I think. Uh, let's go back outside for a second. Are oh, you steal my freaking side. Hey, why are there trappers here all of a sudden? 
Dude! Oh, I went the way I didn't want to go, actually, but okay then. Alright, just go through the portal. Whee! And, oh, I actually could've used some sanity, but oh well. Oh, no. The guy's gonna totally shoot me! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot! I'm a good guy! I'm one of the good guys! Oh, fire your lasers now. Let's go in there and make him explode for some reason. <laughs> I wonder if that was supposed to I kind of feel like it wasn't. Hey, there's a guy here. Oh, that's the guy we sent. That's cool. Ah, oh, man. I guess I need to shoot one of those with my gun or something, wouldn't I? That's probably what I should be doing. Okay, let's wait for you to turn green. I mean, I'm not going to turn down a free... Heal spell oh, for green, even though I have to, that's exactly what I've been doing for the past like 10 15 episodes or at this point. But you know, yay! You know, what? I feel like using all this evil magic is probably not good for my body. But, you know, ah, why are you guys here? Eh, and there goes like <laughs> a lot of my sanity. <coughs> I should have read the disc, I should have tried to examine that guy and see, to see what he would say. Some more? No, there's not. Okay, um... Spell list. Enchant item. Yes. I believe red beats green, right? I think. <coughs> Why is my throat all scratchy? It's annoying! Alright. Yes! Let's go kick some zombie ass! Ooh, why am I running so fast? I guess it's because maybe the camera. I feel like I was running really fast though. Yeah, can't touch us. Da, 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 da. Hey, can I, hello. There we go. Make it super effective. So we'll tell in a second once this guy goes down. Come on. There we go. Oh no. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he is. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That that might have just been normal damage, to be honest. I really felt like that did. I feel like we want to die quicker, especially with the fully powered spell. What? Yeah, I feel like these guys would probably be dying in one hit if I was using the super effective spell. Yay! What's this? The door- The door is late! I mean, locked. <laughs> wow, there's too many ways to go now. Well, I mean... Oh wait, but this leads to a dead end too. This is where that one time where there was a barrier spell here and I had no idea how to get past. Is it? What was that? I did not even see this trapper. You know what? Just because I believe you could still reload. Yes, you can. So say I believe you can still reload in this dimension, and yes, you freaking can. Let's go up here. Hi zombies! Hi zombies! Yeah, you fight each other, you buttheads. Oh dude, I keep forgetting! I really want to charge him! Like I depending on the trapper that sends you. Is he dead? Did he die, did? I can't really tell. <laughs> well, I'm aiming that way now. Well, there's definitely more in here. He has swerving around. Yes, he's dead. Okay, what's this? It's a flask! A milky blue bottle stands on the altar. Pick it up. Magical elixir? It's like, oh, it's like enchanted and stuff. Is it like a mana thing? My mana thing, I mean, like, if I drink it, will it increase my magic? I doubt it. Let's see. Oh! It looks like it actually is. Small milky blue bottle stop, stoppered with a uh, chipped cork. The magical elixir will restore all, <laughs> all the magical energy. Wow, looks like I was right. Although, to be honest, that's kind of scary. Look, you can see kind of like a red glimmer going across the screen. It looks like some kind of weird barrier thing, even though I don't think it can be. Alright. I'm a bit worried to go this way, not gonna lie, sorry, I was pulling up my recording I had the guide still up, don't really know why. Um, I actually, well, I guess it's just because I forgot to bring it back down. I always like to be able to, vo to view my recording things just in case, like, for some reason my audio stops recording. Or other such crazy things start to happen. See, those, this green thing coming around this guy's body, it looks like, oh, that was quick. It looks like those, that should be a shield spell, right? Although it doesn't seem to work like that. Alright, I believe that's all that's in this room, right? Oh yeah, this room! I couldn't remember what room this was. What? A tattered letter lays in the forgotten chair. Duh, I'll pick it up. Soldier's letter! How come there's a soldier down here, huh? Is he evil? 
table stack full of occult items far beyond anything Peter has expected. It covers bizarre drawings of unnatural creatures, animated corpses, and other ether ethereal nightmares. It'd be really nice. And I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong here. Wait, where is it? Not quick spell. Oh, the auto spy here. I wish we could do more of these. It'd be really cool if that was like a side thing of the game, like, you know, Metroid Prime, where you could scan enemies and learn about them and stuff. Third letter from Private Reg Reginald Jackson to his love, Margaret. It's been two weeks since Haskell went missing, and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than once, I saw shadows of people moving past my bed, peeking through the blinds to see a war wounded soldier being taken from his bed, dragged and delirious into the dead of the night, never to be seen again. As Haskell was, perhaps as I will be. What happened to them, I don't know. I'm afraid to ask what happened, for I know that I would surely be the next one to be taken to the darkness. The darkness! Yeah, well, let's go find him. I'm sure he's over here. Shelf appears to be recessed into the wall, not quite as flush as the others in the room. Almost as if we could slide inward. Should Peter push a shelf? Duh, dummy! Yay! Secret passageways. That's a pretty obvious secret pass. Holy crap! You must die, please. Thankfully, he did not see me. Thankfully, those only take one shot. Oh, well, uh, whoa, freaking rat! Can I kill the rats? Well, no, it doesn't look like I can. <laughs> yeah, it was worth the try. Hello? I can't really see too well. I'm scared of the dark, dude. I don't think I think my controller's acting up because I did not press L or R there to leave my inventory. Oh, this way. Yeah, I could not see this. Is there something on the wall here? It's not. I guess it's just a candle or something. Ah, bad guys! Teleporting, 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 bad guys. Yeah, purple candle. That's what's oh my god, Lord! Ah! Oh. Um. I don't want to go back to that dimension. <laughs> No! Did I get him? No! I did not. Oh, I did get him. Okay. Ha! You! <laughs> Alright, let's see what the final letter lays on there for it finish this place off. Unless there's another secret passage in here that, you know, they're going to reveal to me this time. Let's finish him. Finish him off! Yay, I gained some of my sanity back. I should definitely start using the shield spell more often. I mean, look at all this crap about. Ooh. Key lights upon the. A cursed shrine, glinting in the soft candlelight. Binding hall key. Ah, uh, see, I don't remember where this is gonna lead me. Hmm. Alright, I mean, let's make our way back, I guess. <laughs> so let's keep going backwards till we find a new door. Okay, um, I don't really think there's gonna be any more bad guys coming up, so we're just gonna equip that. Alright. It seriously looks like some kind of rock band star or something. These candles who lit these. Oh, you know what? I know it's it's the key to the room over here. No, this room maybe. The door, the door is locked. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like all the way upstairs, back to where we started, pretty much. Okay, those guys look like red guys. I mean, I don't know if they're actually enchanted because um. Uh, wait. Let's try. Ah, oh, dude, I just want to enchant differently. No! Enchant item. Blue. Let's try blue out. I'm gonna look up. Because I forgot to do it for this episode. I'm gonna look up the weaknesses of every enemy again. But for now, you guys just have to deal with it till the end of this episode, which is coming up here in like 20 seconds. Oh, man. This is, I don't like fighting in these really small hallways. It's swinging my sword, sword. I can swing my sword. Really difficult. Ah! I did not even see this third one. Can I kill you? Bam, bam, chicken, bam. Bam, bam, chicken, bam. I don't know what, why I'm saying chicken, bam, for. Does that mean anything? I don't think it does. <laughs> Oops. Hey, I do have more rival, uh, rival, more um, rifle ammo. We'll have, wait, do I? Yeah, I do. How come I have been uh, unable to reload? Weird. All right, I think this is the door that leads to the boss room. I mean, not the boss room, but like the room where we saw that evil boss-looking monster that would be a boss. So I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Eternal Darkness and Sa Saturday's Requiem Blind. In the next one, we'll venture forth through this door and see what lies behind it. Bye bye. <laughs>